Rachel is so much more than just the person who does the numbers on Countdown. She also does the letters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Susie's written 14 books, Rachel. Yep. Now, uh, if you were to write a book, what would it be about? I would actually love to write a book because um, I love it when maths is used in real life. So you can make, take anything that people enjoy already, um, whether it's football or dancing or comedy, and turn it into a maths book. So it, if I was going to make a comedy maths question, I would say if 60% of Jimmy Carr's jokes are funny and 10% of the audience walk out when he does a gig, how many more shows does he have to do until he's paid back the tax man? <laughs> Rachel appeared on a celebrity version of Child Genius where she was beaten by a 12-year-old in a maths challenge. And there's me thinking dancing on Strictly would have been the most embarrassing thing in your career. <laughs> um, Rachel, where do you see yourself in 10 years? Well, in 10 years, hopefully, I'll have been working in telly for 18 years. So I'll probably be testifying against someone I've worked with. Susie, have any rude words come up on Countdown recently? I think I did an origin of words where I was talking about how I quite like a strong verb. So a strong verb is where, in the past tense, it kind of changes a little bit. So sneak, the Americans will say snuck, which I much prefer to sneak. Dive, dove. And I said, I think the past tense of shied should be chode. So I thought it was fine. <laughs> and then I catch Rachel. I'm still not completely sure what it means. Would you like to explain? Well, you, you, you probably know a man like you, Jimmy. Um, <laughs> this guy, sure. <laughs> but, but for Susie's benefit, a chode is a penis that is wider than it is long. Or <laughs> well, normal. Normal, it's called, isn't it? Just normal. <laughs> Asim stars in People Just Do Nothing, which is a sitcom about pirate radio, and not, as I assumed, Rachel's job description. <laughs> Still getting paid. <laughs> <laughs> OK, and in charge of numbers, it's Rachel Riley. Rachel is a mathematician with a background in quantum theory, fluid mechanics and a remarkable aptitude for mental arithmetic, which is all well and good, but can you do this? <laughs> Come on, with your maths degree. Come on. Is that it? Strangely arousing. <laughs> Rachel Riley, she's smart, funny and great company. She really ticks all the boxes, unless one of the boxes is marked good at dancing. <laughs> um, Rachel, it says here you, uh, you've started to experiment with Russian food. How is that going? Yeah, I love a bit of Russian food. There's one place I had some Russian food, it's called a banya. So it's like a Russian sauna. So you go there um, in a bikini and this Russian guy in a felt hat makes you cover your eyes with a birch branch and then he hits you with one. Uh, and then, <laughs> and then you, you dip yourself in ice bucket of water and then in the plunge pool and then you go and have more pickles and sausages and vodka and then you kind of repeat You've the still process. got the blindfold on with the, <laughs> with the no, pickles and the sausages? Yeah, it's, it's, it's kind of across the street. Can we just look up gullible and see? <laughs> Rachel knew from an early age she wanted to use her math skills to help people. Help people waste their afternoon sitting on the sofa watching other people unjumble letters. <laughs> <laughs> to Jimmy Carr is going to be a verb in the dictionary. It means to expose yourself to the mourners in a pet cemetery. Oh! <laughs> oh, one time. <laughs> one time. <laughs> and in charge of the numbers is Rachel Riley. After seeing Rachel on Strictly, it's clear she combines the brains of Professor Stephen Hawking with the dancing ability of Professor Stephen Hawking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Rachel, uh, Claudia's our guest team captain uh, this evening. Any yeah. advice for her? I think she'll be fine, actually. I was thinking of um, my favourite captains, and she's got a lot in common with um, Wayne Rooney, uh, Jack Sparrow and Captain Hook. Yes. They've all got strong hair. Yeah. And two out of three have got great eyeliner. I think it should be fine. <laughs> you said Wayne Rooney's got strong hair. Yeah, he's paid for it, hasn't he? Oh, Have you got it? a problem with paying for stuff on your body? <laughs> <laughs> Could it be done, Rachel? Um, I'm not sure. I'll have another look. What's mean? I'm not sure. It's your only job, Rachel. <laughs> <laughs> Let's maybe try and focus yeah. up a little bit here. Get back to me. All you, do, you need to do is an add, add three to what Joe did. 
<laughs> That's what I'd do in that situation. <laughs> found it. You found it? Yeah. It's 462. <laughs> it was a difficult one. If you say 25 minus 3 is 22, 1 plus 1 is 2, times 8 is 16, add 5 for 21, and 21 times 22 is 462. Woo. <laughs> Rachel, if the countdown studio was on fire mm -hmm. and you could save me or Sean or John, who, who would you save? Um, well, I think in that scenario, Sean probably started the fire. So. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that is a safe bet, yeah. John's probably worked out the fire escapes and he's got his best route. Um, but I could use your teeth as kind of a beacon, like a torch. <laughs> They're ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> I think yours are whiter. What, sorry? Yours are whiter. Mine are not whiter than Definitely yours. Yours are, are ridiculous. Yours are a dick. <laughs> <laughs> and your time starts now. <clears throat> ah. Ow. Rachel is 35, or to put it in countdown terms, her TV career is going to be over in... <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, if they can hire Anne Robinson, I'm all right for a little while. <laughs> How come I didn't get that job? Mm, did you apply? Did, what, for, did I apply? Yes. What was it, on a notice board? <laughs> <laughs> OK, and your time starts now. Oh, you don't want to know. <laughs> I love her. I mean, he's... Look at, look at, look at the swag as well. <laughs> <laughs> the only slight criticism I've got is he's got real teeth. <laughs> he's also... Who's, who's older? Your actual teeth or the little boy? How, how, old, how old are you? Seven. Seven. Same age. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you dressed like that? You winded me up. It's a joke, Mark. Oh, I see. It's an absolute casserole down there. <laughs> I'm going to storm off. Like Piers Morgan. It's to create buzz. It's too hot. It's this is years. the same it's... temperature as something that's burning. Because it's so hot. Permanent tan. What? <laughs> they lived in the Pink Palace. It's a real flat. It's real? People of colour should be driving HGVs across channels, not presenting them. <gasps> Seriously? Yeah. I don't know if that could... <laughs> <laughs> you had the milk on your tongue. What'd your reaction be? You on it? No? I would vomit. <laughs> I'm barely holding on here. If you get shot, they need to get you out of there! You don't like talking absolute rubbish. Mm. You always look like an accountant, which is so <laughs> ironic. <laughs>